All right. Graphics cards. I see a few of them sitting in front of us. Yeah, there's been a lot going on the last couple of weeks in graphics cards. A um, lot of new releases. I'm going to go chronologically through some of the stuff that's been happening. So first, a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe three weeks ago, NVIDIA launched this guy, which is a GeForce GTX 280. Look at that beast. This is a... The GPU in this, which is the GeForce GTX 200 GPU, is the graphics chip, is 1.4 billion transistors. That sounds on like a, a 65 lot. nanometer process. That's huge. It's okay. enormous. It's it's several times bigger than a quad core processor. It's I was gonna say it's, it's freakishly big. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's like 600 square millimeters. It's, it's nice. a gigantic chip. This this card, which is yes, it's crazy fast, but it's also 650 bucks. That's a lot. Which is a lot of money. And is, is it currently one of the top performing graphics cards available? It's is the that... top performing graphics card that has one graphics chip on it. There are some graphics cards out there with two that sometimes are as fast, and sometimes this one's fast. So if you're looking for the ultimate... The this two... is the ultimate money is no object. You've got to have a power supply that has both the 8-pin the, the and the 6-pin. PCI connectors. Okay. And some, some, a lot of power supplies only have the six pin PCI. Express now that's not that so same gotta... eight pin connector that I use for plugging directly into the motherboard for power, no. is it? And you'll probably need that on your motherboard too. I probably. So will. yeah, you gotta you gotta <laughs> look for a power supply that that'll do that. Right. Now they also on the same day released a version of this called the GeForce GTX 260, uh, which is the same GPU with some features to say with some of the parts disabled it's okay. basically the chips that weren't good they were able to stable a few make it uh it's slower but it's 400 bucks and only has two six pin power plugs so works with more people's systems similar feature set but slightly less performance that's exactly Big savings yeah yep nice. exactly um and and it's good for 400 bucks it's pretty good so then a couple weeks later ati released their new 4000 series graphics cards this is the radeon hd 4850 Dun, 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 dun. Which is two hundred bucks, really? And, that sounds like a good price. And, and wicked fast. This thing, uh, the peak flops performance of this is a teraflop, which is actually even more than the big six hundred fifty dollar card I just held up. Uh, you know, not everything will you know, flops. There's one of those. And it's not a double wide card. Either. It's not a double wide card. It has one power plug. It's pretty energy efficient. Pretty quiet. Uh, wicked great frame rates in games. And especially with anti-aliasing, which was a problem with ATI cards before, it's much much better at that now. This is just a darling of a graphics card. It's so For much faster. Bucks too. Is than, that, it's so much faster than is that MSRP or is that yeah average retail? So you could probably get it for a little bit less. Even? Uh, maybe ten bucks less. Okay. They, they're really hot items right now, so you nice. don't find a lot of good deals. Um, but you know. For this, it's 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 pretty impressive. It's way faster than any two hundred dollar card was. So because this was so awesome, what NVIDIA did is they took this card, which has been on the market. This is the GeForce 9800 GTX. This thing was it debuted at 349 or something, but it was basically 300 bucks. And then when the, uh, when the 4850 came out, they dropped the price of this to 200 bucks because the 4850 is as fast or faster than this. So they, ha- they, they really they, didn't have a choice they in the They didn't have a choice. It was killing every $200 card they, they make by a wide margin. So they said, oh, crap, we have to make our $300 card $200. So you can get one of these for 200 bucks now, which is good. I mean, it, competition's good. But it's a double-wide card. It's long. It's 10 and a half inches, so may not fit in smaller cases. Two power plugs instead of one. So if you really want the NVIDIA things, the good news is you get a deal now on there you these. Go. Uh, but I still prefer the single slot. I do too. Better. And this I is like then the forty eight fifty is a though, little faster in, in some stuff. Too. If I'm showing off the case though, maybe I have a clear door or something. I don't mind the size of the car as long as everything fits right. And yeah, yeah. I'm not dealing with. I like the fact they're putting power plugs on the top too, rather than on the back where you, it's closer to the you hard have drive to cage. On, yeah, you have to on the long getting, cards, you know. So, like and that. then uh, along with the forty eight fifty, ATI also released this, which is the Radeon HD forty eight seventy. Which is the same GPU, uh, no other parts dis- like disabled on the 4050. This one just runs at a higher clock speed. But this includes the new GDDR5 memory, which is a new higher speed memory, so a lot of memory bandwidth. DDR4? On I this. hardly knew ye. Yeah, not a lot of people picked up GDDR4, but GDDR5 is a lot faster. So this guy's got a lot of memory bandwidth and a faster clock rate. I'm 
shining it in the with camera. Each, uh, with each DDR edition, like, say, going mm-hmm. from two to three to five, yeah. apparently, is it is it lower voltage requirements, faster speed? Generally, generally yes. Of it? Generally, yes. They're, they're sending more info per pin, per clock signal. Um, it's different with the graphics DDR standards than the system DDR oh, standards. Okay. They're not the same, so it's not all. But this is, you know, two, it's up to two power plugs. It's double wide, but also still pretty energy efficient, fairly quiet, and way fast. This is, in some cases, as fast as that GTX 260 I talked about, which is 400 bucks, and this one's 300 So really good products from ATI this time around. They've made a massive improvement over their last generation stuff. They're so really for any really gamer, you have great options then from about $200 on up to about $650. Yes. And arguably, state-of-the-art cards supporting the latest features like DirectX 10.1. Yeah. All of them? Um, no. Uh, the, new, the new NVIDIA cards still do not support DirectX 10.1. They support DirectX 10.0 still. You know, Not a lot of DirectX 10.1 games out there. There was, okay. there was one in Assassin's Creed, and it kind of got patched out. But uh, there's more coming. There are some 10.1 games coming. Good deal. But all solid DirectX 10 cards, at the very least. Yeah, and uh, and especially this, if I had to pick a favorite, you know, the, the 4850 is just a really good deal. Single slot, one power plug, really great performance. I mean, you can run pretty much any game out there. Is that like the new replacement, you think, for, like say, like an 8800 GT that was about this a $200 is, card this is, this is so six much, months ago? This is so much faster than an 8800 GT. <sighs> That's why they had to drop the price on the 9800 GTX, is because this guy's competition was the overclocked 8800 GT cards, and it was killing them. Nice. So, nice. yeah. Great, it's going on my short Great little a, product there, which is good, because we'll new be, system building. we're going to be giving them away. <laughs> That's coming up in a little bit. Yep. 